Okay, here we go. Let's create a new project. .NET Core. So let's get rid of the traditional hello world. Boom. Let's do something more useful here. So first of all, let's include some additional using statements. Anytime you're dealing with string manipulation, I like to have link and generics because we're trying to split this into a list of list of string. And so I'm go ahead and add this stuff here. So kind of tested already. We have these three names, Bill, Ted, Tom, Bill and Ted, excellent adventure. I remember that. And so now, this squiggly line is of course because we haven't used the variable yet. And so because we have these using statement that gives us access to this collection and you'll see uh, see that it's an error now okay and then these extension methods uh, gives us the uh, convert to list so this will what this does is say hey I'm gonna look inside of this string value which we now set here identify all of the characters of this which is a common delimited list. If we had put pikes, we put that here. And I'm going to convert it to a list of strings. And that's what that's saying right there. So let's run it. Put a breakpoint right here. See if this absolutely works. <laughs> Go and take your time. Um, here we go. There's our breakpoint. And now we're going to look at this. This here is a list of strings. Um, and of course, it will stop it real quick. If you wanted to get to that list or iterate through that list, yeah, mm -hmm. Tap, tap. Oh, no. Not a for statement. My bad. Tap, tab. And then this will become every string inside there. If you needed to get to each one of them. All right. Thank you very much. Hey, if you found this video very helpful, click the like button below. And please don't be shy to subscribe to Nerd House Geeks. We are constantly updating this channel with new and interesting content. If it's more convenient for you to see us on Facebook, please like our page. And when we have updates, we put them on Facebook. And you'll be informed there as well, too. And to the entire LinkedIn community, thank you very much for your support. We also have a company page up there that you can follow. And we'll keep content updated there as well. So thank you very much.